on the devil side, you are a devil. An ex-pastor interfered with a man going to do a good deed for a Christian. I'm the Christian he was going to do the good deed for. The ex-pastor is now on the devil's side. He admits it. And then you're going to hear his friend tell you why. when it started coming out but he admitted he's on the devil's side now listen to one of his lifetime friends what he has to say now this man that told me some stuff on August the 1st 2017 after his visit never saw him again yeah his friend's a devil I'm pretty sure he is too. Listen. He's a God fearing man and he wants to get involved to help. Sammy is up. She don't need to get her on the truck. What else, Sammy is? Oh, what does that guy do? I'm just curious. Oh, uh, there she goes down here. Oh, what? There was a clown coming up there and answering for a Now, when a man blames God for everything, and then he turns on God's people, Christians, yeah, the devil interfered with this person named Sammy helping me. I don't know how he done it. Devils are very persuasive, especially if you're an alcoholic or you're on medications. He knocked this Sammy person right out of a wondrous blessing. That's what they do. Now, he's mad because his family died. He blames God. Well, the truth is, people make their own choices. If you smoke a cigarette and if you die of cancer, that's the choice you made. If you chew tobacco and you die of cancer, that's the choice you made. You can't blame God for all your choices. Anyway, this man, as you heard him say, he turned rogue. He's on the devil side. Now when he's on the devil side, that means he's trying to get other people on the devil side. That's what they do. They are real. You are brainwashed into believing they're not real. You are medicated so you can't see and hear them. God help you. Now the man that was telling me this stuff, that's a God-fearing man that wanted to help, it is now August the 26th. That conversation was August the 1st. Never saw him again. Devils lie. Antichrist lie. That's what they do. I already knew he was going to lie because God told me, because I'm not medicated. I had already made these videos because I know he was lying about helping me. Devils hate Christians, especially my kind. Wake up, America. It's as real as it gets. If you're 
you're a real Christian and you're not medicated, they are out to get you. And if you're a real Christian and you're slightly medicated, you're on your way to hell. You better get off the meds, the TV and everything else. This is not a joke. I don't do this for fun. I don't do I don't get paid for this. My self sacrifice has landed me homeless and penniless, but it's for the kingdom of God. No, I'm not crazy. Do all my videos on this channel. Start with number one. You, if you randomly do them, you won't get it. And you better get it before they get you. Now, after you do all these videos and you get off meds, go down to who I'm subscribed to. Go to Halo7Angel. And then view all those videos as they are numbered. And see real life. You get to see devils in action. You get to see angels exposing devils in action. You get to see housing corruption, discrimination, drug dealing. Yeah, they bullied me first. If you do it all in order, you'll get to see this. They picked the fight. And God did the battle. It's all real. Are you? Shalom.